what's up guys if you're looking to do any point of view or top-down video recording you're going to need an overhead rig in one of my previous videos I reviewed this one which is the glide gear overhead 100 I'll leave a link in the description of that video and where to purchase this and it's been really well it's quite limited because it only has a fixed width and height so I'm not too flexible with what I can do with this so I've got a couple of new boxes here this is the Elgato master mount I've also purchased the solid arm and the flex arm to go with it all of these are from Elgato and all the links are in the description this one is 50 pounds this one is 35 pounds and the last one is 30 pounds so I want to replace this rig with the clamp that will go on to the end of the desk and only one side of it will come above the desk so I can put my camera facing down to do my unboxing videos. So let's go ahead and set these up. I just wanna see if it can manage the payload of my Sony a7 III. I've got a big 200 millimeter Tamron lens on there as well, it's a zoom lens. I'm going to showcase to you guys if it's worth buying. Does it handle the weight? How flexible am I to move it around? Does it take up a lot of space? So let's go ahead and set it up. Right, so let's start off with the master mount. This is the large desk mount. So it is solid aluminium, so I feel it will be able to hold quite well. There's a couple of clips if you want it to do a bit of a cable management as well. I think that's everything. Yep, so you've got the instruction on here. It says the maximum payload is two kilograms. The minimum height that you can set is 55 centimeters and the maximum height is 125 centimeters, which is actually pretty tall. I don't expect to go that high up when I'm doing my filming. But I think this will do a very good job. Now that is extremely solid. So you can go pretty much as high as you want. This has a quarter inch screw ball head there at the top. Pretty much any direction you want to set something at. So let's just do it for there for now. Now let's get the flex arm. Now there's four flex arms in here, variation of different sizes, but that gives you flexibility of pointing the arm in different positions. Now the longest one is 24 centimeters. The next one is 17 centimeters. Then you have two small pieces that are eight centimeters each. So they're quite easy to connect. What you'll have to do is take the ball head out by loosening it, leave that to one side as that will be the thing that attaches right at the end. Now let's connect the larger one. And finally, the solid arm is just a complementary arm that comes off to the side, which also has a ball head, but this will be clamped to the main clamp here. And the last thing I want to do is just add a larger ball head, which has a quarter inch screw connector at the bottom. This makes it easier to transfer my camera from the tripod directly onto this when I want to do top down shooting. So I just have to screw this into the existing ball head. There we go, final checks. Make sure all of them are very tight. And now we are ready to test this. Right, so I have found a problem. I took off one of the smaller pieces at the end of the flex arm just to see if it gets more secure and I've also angled it slightly higher up rather than vertically outwards and again I've tightened these so hard that I just can't tighten them anymore if I let go my camera and my lens together weighs around 1.7 kilograms the 2.5 kilogram weight I think is only for this clamp arm here the main one that's to the desk the flex arm I think the max weight is probably 0.5 kilograms which is why if you have a mirrorless or DSLR camera, which is over a kilogram, I think it will struggle a little bit to stay intact. And the last thing you want is for it to fall or damage, even if it's tightened securely onto the ball head. Now you can see it's slowly starting to move down. And when I'm filming, the last thing I want it to do is to come down by itself while I'm filming. So you can see it will stay up for a little bit and it will start to come down by itself. So that's not great, but what I will use this for is to have my phone mount on it and maybe use the glide gear overhead rig, the solid metallic one to use for my DSLR and mirrorless cameras because that can take up a whole lot of weight that's super solid. 
so this is probably not ideal if i wanted to have the camera mounted on just the main clamp here then it would work fine but the flex arm i would recommend is only for more lighter items overall i paid 115 pounds for all of these three items to have yourself a nice like podcast or filming setup on your desk with lighting some microphones and even your smartphones i think it's great it personally i think it's slightly a little bit too expensive than what you're getting for it if this was capable of handling a larger payload i think it would definitely be worth the price so if you do want to check it out all of the links are in the description i will be switching this over to use my smartphone mount which i think is a lot better so i will be connecting this it's got a little aperture pocket light on there as well i think the payload on that suits this a lot better so what i'm going to do is remove this this is a lot better for my setup so if i'm going to do unboxing videos then i can use my phone to do it if i wanted to use my camera to do it then i will use the previous overhead rig that i had i'll leave a link for all of these let me know if you guys have any questions and if you did like this video and you want to see more videos around how to create youtube videos and create your setup on your desks drop a comment down below. I've got new videos out every week. I review all things tech, especially around the camera accessory space. If you did find this useful, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any of those ones. Like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.